Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel and this is your 2024 year ahead reading and what I'm going to do is pull a card for every month next year so we'll have two rows of six cards and we'll see what's going to happen for you Sagittarius in 2024. You're going to start off 2024. January, you have the Temperance card. The Temperance card is about calming things down. So January, you're going to be trying to calm things down. You're going to be trying to balance things. You want the year to start off better. The rainbow coming up in the background, the sun coming up here as well, is showing that you're going to start off the year with that intention of, I want things balanced, I want things calm i want things nice and that's january february sees the page of sword there raising that sword up in the air pages are often good messages they're often good news and the page of swords can be linked to plans changing so february don't be surprised if something that you had already organized for next year changes now, March, you've got the King of Wands there. Oh, two cards have come out there. Let's take that one away. The King of Wands, the Hierarchy, the Fire Sign. Now, obviously, Sagittarius, you are a Fire Sign. So this could be you at the top of your game in March. This could be you being strict not putting up with stuff you are a good leader you're generous with your time but in march i can see you there being in control having a good look at what's going on don't forget february we had your plans changed january you wanted things to be calm so in march there you are making sure that what you want is sort of going your way you're trying to stay in control of things April, the Six of Cups. Sixes are about strength. Sixes are about stability. You're feeling in quite a good place. In fact, you're even organising get-togethers with friends, people perhaps that you haven't seen for a while. So April sees you sort of getting together, making connections with people. Look at May, the full card. A new journey, a leap of faith on the edge of that cliff. And you're going to step over. You've got a new start in May. Could be to do with the plans changing in February. Something that happens in February could create a new start in May. But look at June, the Seven of Cups. So you've got a new start in May, which is bringing you opportunities in June. So we've got a lovely new start. We've got opportunities, so many opportunities. You don't really know which one to pick from. So take your time, sit and pick. So next year sees really, really good opportunities for you. We're pulling another card to clarify the first six months of next year. The Six of Pentacles, another lovely positive card. And it's saying a payout, opportunity. Again, these things are coming to you. Choices. So 2024 sees possibilities of payouts, promotions, opportunities, choices. But you seem to be the one who's instigated this. Now, July has the five of wands. So it doesn't mean to say that these things come really, really easily because the five of wands shows a struggle, shows you working hard. So don't forget, if you're going to get some sort of payout or promotion, it will be a little bit more hard work. But you're not afraid of hard work, are you, Sagittarius? That fire energy. August sees the moon card. The moon card for some of you can be about you being guarded by dreams. For others, it can be that you're not seeing everything. The fact that we've got that struggle there in July tells me that it's going to take a little while to settle. There's going to be a, a bit of a struggle period and a, and a bit of a time of you feeling a little bit lost, a little bit unsure, a little bit 
perhaps needing a little bit more training or needing a little bit more of support. So when these new opportunities come along, make sure you have the support that you need, Sagittarius, okay? Make sure, don't, you know, struggle at work. Turn around and say, look, I need a bit more training. I need a little bit more support. But it will calm down for you. September sees balance. The four of ones, again, things are calming down. Things are becoming more stable. You're settling into these changes now, okay? So it doesn't last for long. Just a little couple of months for that transition period of settling into this new thing. September sees you feeling in a good place. Work, home is feeling more stable again. To the point that October... You're going to be making decisions. Could be to do with money. We've got the two of pentacles there. We've got money coming up and down. Making that choice. You've got your boats coming in there in the background. So this is to do. Again, something could be coming to you. November sees you making a new approach. So it's like you start off the year next year with that temperance and that sort of balancing and calming things down. Then you're making these changes, this leap of faith and these opportunities. You're taking a bit of time to settle, but September sees you feeling stable again. Then October, you're making a decision, a decision about taking a new approach and changing something. But you're definitely leading the way come December. December could be where, again, you take on some sort of promotion or leadership role. So there could be two opportunities for you next year because we see in July opportunities coming to you we see a settling down then we see a new decision do you get the offer of two promotions next year who knows or you change jobs and then you get a promotion after you've changed jobs once they've seen you know how good you are so Sagittarius says changes for you next year but by the time you get to December you're leading the way forward you are the leader people are following you and you are a good leader but November sees you making a new approach. You're getting everything sorted, but you're just changing the way you're doing that. And that comes from that decision in October. Some sort of change. But you've got a lot of wand cards out there, which are to do with work and creativity. So for those of you who are not in a job, this could be to do with self-employment, something you're creating. It could even be to do with changes around you that you're going to be in control of. So Sagittarius, next year looks like a positive year for you. Promotion, payout, leading the way, being in control. Let's have a look what your guardian angels have to say to you. But it's definitely good things coming. But you seem to be the one making the changes. And your guardian angel message. Six of abundance. Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you. An unexpected gift is on its way. Accept it with gratitude and humility, knowing that you have a chance to return the generosity by giving to others in the future. Consider volunteering for a charitable organisation. So while well, Sagittarius sees that you're the sort of person that you are grateful for what you've got and you know when things are good and you will turn around and give that back. And here December, being the leader and people following, could be you giving back, retraining people for what you've learned. But positive, good things are coming to you next year, which will give you the opportunity to give good things back. Well done, Sagittarius. 2024 looks really exciting for you. New things definitely on the horizon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.